Are you trying to figure out the things that you need in your car to take your baby for an outing? In this video, I'll be talking about the products and accessories that I use in my car to ensure a smooth and safe family outing. Hi, I'm Danny, and this is Practical Mommy Loves Luxury. Welcome to my series of videos for new or expecting parents. Now let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you all the things that I've added to my car since my baby was born. All the relevant products will be linked in the description box below. Starting with the first item, which is the car seat. In Australia, it's mandatory for everyone to be restrained while they're traveling in a car, and that includes the baby or a child. And of course, safety is of the utmost importance. So if you watched my earlier video, you'd know that I used the Britex capsule when my daughter was first born. And I used this option because the Britex capsule was compatible with my pram, which is the Baby Jogger City Mini. The capsule also meant that when she was really young, I was able to just lift the capsule out of the car with her in it and click her into the pram. And in that situation, if she was asleep, I wouldn't have to disturb her. This setup also enabled me to have the forward facing option. If you're interested in the details, please go ahead and watch that video and I'll leave a card up here that you can click on to go and have a look. Otherwise, my daughter outgrew the Britax capsule at about the age of 12 months. Um, she was a petite baby, so she was able to use the capsule for a very long time. I've heard of mothers who've only been able to use your capsule for three months. So it does depend on how quickly your baby grows. Once my daughter outgrew her capsule, I moved on to the Maxi Cozy motor, and it is the seat that I still use today. So this car seat is suitable from birth to around the age of four. It is a convertible car seat, which means that when the baby's first born, the car seat will be set up so that they're facing backwards. And once they get to a certain size, the seat will be turned around so that the baby will be facing forwards. This car seat comes with a newborn insert, which can be removed when the baby gets bigger. So the difference between car seats and capsules are that car seats can't be removed from the car and clicked onto prams, whereas capsules can. So you can use the car seat straight from the get-go. However, it does mean that you have to lift the baby out of the car seat and put them straight into the pram every time you're about to leave the car. The Maxi Cozy motor has a six-point harness, which means that there is one strap that go over each shoulder, one strap that goes over each hip, and two straps at the crotch. This car seat also has removable covers, which means that you can take them off to wash. The covers are also made of a cool wicking fabric, which will draw moisture away from the baby. So on hot, sweaty days, the baby is not going to feel as clammy. This car seat is also Isofix compatible with vehicles with Isofix anchorage points. If you watch my other videos, you'd know that I'm very comfortable buying pre-loved items for my daughter to use. However, when it comes to safety, for example, with capsules or car seats, I do feel that buying brand new is more important. And this is because you don't actually know the crash history of a car seat that you buy secondhand. And when a car seat has been involved in a crash, you actually can't tell. Our family has two of these car seats and one of them is in my car and the other one is in my husband's car. And this is because we take turns doing drop off and pick up from childcare. Now I'm not going to talk anymore about car seats for now because my next video is going to be on how to choose a car seat for your baby. So if you're interested in that, do make sure that you're subscribed and you have notifications turned on so that you don't miss that video. The next thing that I've added to my car since my baby was born is a large bin, like this one over here. The thing is, once the baby is born, I think it's inevitable that you will collect a lot of stuff in your car. And large bin is really just to collect all your clutter to make sure that it is not all over the floor of your car. In this bin, I've got a whole bunch of different stuff. I have some storybooks. I have some bubble wrap. I know it looks a bit bizarre. However, sometimes my daughter just likes to pop these bubbles while she's traveling in the car. I have some random toys. I find this bin really handy as well for storing bowls because obviously bowls will roll all over the floor of the car when you're driving and that can be really annoying. So yeah, it contains some of her large bowls and her smaller bowls as well. I also store my baby carrier in this bin. So I take my baby carry out on outings and I don't use it around the house. It is quite bulky even once you fold it up and I find it doesn't fit into my nappy bag particularly well. So I kind of just store it in this bin and put it in the pram once I get to my destination. At some stage, I'll do a review on my Ergo baby carrier as well. 
To store some smaller objects, I also use a car organizer. This one over here is from Kmart and it's pretty empty at the moment. Sometimes it can get quite full. So it's holding her sunglasses. He's got some of her books. I also have some spare white wipes in here. My daughter is two and a half and she's kind of completed her toilet training, but every once in a while we still have an accident. So I can never have too much wet wipes around. And this is great because it's got multiple different compartments and you can reach for things straight away without having to rummage through a bin. So this section over here is clear. And I know of parents who use this section to carry devices like tablets to play videos during travel. So if that's something that you would like to do, this organizer would accommodate that. The next thing is a battery operated fan and is good for warmer days. This fan has a clip which allows you to hang it from the overhead door handles. And the neck is also flexible, which will allow you to turn it in any direction. Other than using it for just the car, you can take it off and clip it onto your pram as well. I also have this mirror, which allows you to see my entire camera setup. I'm just going to turn it this way so it's less distracting. This mirror is made of plastic, so it's not that it can't break. However, it's a lot less likely to break compared to a glass mirror. This mirror is from Kmart. I attach it so that the mirror faces her. I personally like this mirror because when my daughter was really young, and wasn't able to talk yet. Every time I stopped at a traffic light, I was able to turn my head just to check that she was okay and also to check whether she was awake or asleep. So although the primary purpose of me buying this mirror was for me to check on my daughter, what really surprised me was that she actually tolerated car rides a lot better. And I realized that it's because babies generally like looking at faces. And I think she was essentially just checking out herself. So yeah, if you have a baby that doesn't really like car travel, see if this will work. So the next thing is window shades. I really love these ones. They're made of mesh, which means that if you wound down your window, you can still get some sort of ventilation. These ones attach on by magnets. And I think that's really great because you can take it down for really easy cleaning. And obviously sunshades are really good for hot, sunny weather, especially when we have really hot, sunny days in Adelaide. I bought this off eBay. They are custom to the model of the car, so it will fit snugly into your window. I will leave a few links in the description box below and make sure that you do choose the one that is suitable for your car model. The next thing I got is this back hook. So this one, I hang on the front passenger seat, but you can certainly hang it on any headrest. I find them really handy because I can hang like shopping bags on my handbag or even the nappy bag on it. And when I stop the car, my bags aren't just going to fall forward for its contents to then empty onto the floor of the car. The next thing is a microfiber cloth. When we're driving in the sun, I think we've all noticed before that our dashboards and our steering wheels all get really dusty. So I store one of these in the driver's seat door and I find it really handy so that I can just reach for it and quickly give my car a wipe down. Oops. <laughs> Looking into my car boot now. So obviously on outings, I will bring my pram, but in order to make sure that my boot stays really organized so that my pram can fit in it, I use this organizer. It's really large and heavy duty. I use it mostly to carry things like books or documents so that they're not flying all over the car boot. I also use it to store my shopping bags and after I've gone shopping, I would also put my shopping in these organizers. As I alluded to before, next week's video is going to be on how to choose a baby seat for your little one. So to make sure you don't miss out on that video, make sure you subscribe by clicking on my face over here and click on that bell next to it to make sure you get notified when that video comes up. In the meantime, feel free to enjoy these ones over here. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you have any comments, I would love for you to leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!